Hello friends, welcome to Freshers Live. Today is 17th June. Here I will discuss some important 30 plus questions that may be asked from today's current affairs and important facts related with each question. So watch the video very carefully and try to answer the question asked at the end of the video. You can download the PDF of the latest current affairs from the link provided in the description. You can also download the PDF from our website as well as telegram groups. Also you can find the link for the Hindi version of this video in the below given description box. The link for the Hindi current affairs is given there. Before getting into our question and answer session, here are the important topics we will be discussing today. Suman Rao crowned as Femina Miss India 2019. Susanna Kapitawa swan in as President of Slovakia. Makarand Tilo received the Save Water Hero Award. High Level Task Force for Agri Reforms. FATF warned Pakistan. In this video, I will be asking some important questions from each topic. You can find the answers at the end of the video. Come, let's learn. Here comes our question number 1. Who is crowned as Femina Miss India 2019? The correct answer is Option A. Suman Rao Suman Rao from Rajasthan won Femina Miss India World 2019 title. The ceremony held at Sardar Vallabhai Patel Indoor Stadium, New Delhi. Shivani Jadav, Chhattisgarh won Femina Miss Grand India 2019 title. Shreyan Shankar from Bihar won Miss India United Continents 2019 title. The judges were designer duo Falguni, Shane Peacock, Miss World 2018 Vanessa Pons D. Leon, actor Huma Qureshi, Chitan Da Singh, Ayush Sharma, choreographer filmmaker Remo D. Zauza, printer Dirty Chant, and football captain Sunil Chetri. The show was hosted by Bollywood filmmaker Karan Johar and actor anchor. Manish Paul along with Miss World 2017, Manushi Chiller. Suman Rao is a CA student who is studying at Rajasthan. Chhattisgarh's Shivani Jadav, an engineer crowned management student Shreya Shankar. Telangana's Sanjana Vich won as Miss India runner-up 2019. Here are the important questions that may be asked from this news. Who is the Miss India runner-up 2019? Who won Miss India United Continents 2019 title? To know the answer, continue watching the video. Heading to our question number 2. Who is the new president of Slovakia? The correct answer is Option D. Susanna Kapitawa Susanna Kapitawa swan as Slovakia's first female president. The swearing-in ceremony took place at Constitutional Court Chair Ivan Fiakan Parliamentary Session held in Bratislava, Shingwa. After her swan-in ceremony, she insisted to maintain and strengthen this space of pillars of Slovakia. She is the fifth president in the modern Slovak. She was elected in the month of March. She defeated Smer SD candidate Maros Sefcovic. Now let me share a few more information about Slovakia. It is a landlocked country in Central Europe. The capital is Bratislava. The currency is Euro. And here are the important questions that may be asked from this news. What is the capital of Slovakia? And what is the currency of Slovakia? To know the answer, continue watching the video. Heading to our question number 3. Who is conferred with Save Water Hero Award? The correct answer is Option C. Makarant Tillo. Social activist Makarant Tillo won Save Water Hero Award. This award presented to him in order to encourage his efforts to raise awareness about water conservation in the city. The ceremony was held in Pune, Maharashtra. He is a laugher, yoga trainer, motivational speaker and its campaign to save water by replacing leaking taps with new ones. He was honored by the Hridya Mitra Foundation with the presence of writer and philanthropist Ramachandra Dekkan and Foundation President Srikant Mudanda. He is the founder of a non-governmental organization named Jalrakshak Prabodhini. Here are the important questions that may be asked from this news. What is the name of the award conferred to social activist Makarand Tillo? Where the award ceremony held? To know the answer, watch the full video. 
Heading to our next question. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced the setting up of a high-level task force for undertaking structural reforms in the DASH meeting of the Niti Aayog Governing Council. The correct answer is Option C, 5th. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced that the center is to set up a high-level task force in the 5th meeting of the Niti Aayog Governing Council. The task force is for undertaking structural reforms in agriculture, including strengthening logistics, produce marketing, food processing, as well as changes to the Essential Commodities Act. The PM has pitched for foundational reforms in the agri-economy, leading to a complete transformation of the agriculture sector in India. The task force will constitute of a few chief ministers. Because of the drought situation, some states have asked for changes in the National Disaster Response Force and State Disaster Response Fund guidelines. The task force will work with MHA and Agriculture Ministry to make changes. India is targeting a $5 trillion economy by 2024. The 5th Niti Aayog was attended by the chief minister of all of all states except from West Bengal, Punjab and Himachal Pradesh. Here are the important questions that may be asked from this news. What is India's economy target by 2024? Center is to set up a high level task force for DASH. To know the answer, continue watching the video. Heading to our question number 5. Which country can boost exports of 350 products to US, China amid trade war? The correct answer is Option B, India Commerce Ministry of India made a study The trade war between the US and China offers an opportunity to India for boosting exports of as many 350 products such as chemicals and granite to these countries. These products are part of the study carried out by the Commerce Ministry. Both the US and China are imposing heavy import duties resulted in trade war kind of situation. Around 151 domestic products includes diesel, x-ray tubes to displace the US exports to China. Around 203 Indian goods like rubber and graphite electrodes have the advantage to displace Chinese exports to the US. The Indian products can tap Chinese market include copper ores, rubber, paper, paperboard, equipment for transmission voice or data in a weird network, tunes and pipes. The domestic goods can grab export opportunities in the US market include industrial valves, vulcanized rubber, carbon or graphite electrodes and natural honey. Here are the important questions that may be asked from this news. What is the capital of China? How many products did India boost export products to the US and China trade war? To know the answer, continue watching the video. Here comes our next question, question number 7. Which country did the US allow to import Iranian gas for its power grid for another 3 months by extending a waiver to sanction? The correct answer is Option D, Iraq. The United States has allowed Iraq to import Iranian gas for its power grid for another three months by extending a waiver to sanctions. But the US insisted that Iraq finds an alternative measure for its need of electricity, including by harnessing gas energy and reducing flaring at oil production sites. Iraq has added Iraq had several extensions to the waiver first granted in 2018 after Washington reimposed sanction on Tehran's oil sector forbidding countries from purchasing Iranian energy. The extension was given during a phone call between Prime Minister Adil Abdul Mahdi and US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. The United States continued to insist on diversifying energy imports away from Iran. US energy giant General Electric won a multi-billion dollar contract to rebuild Iraq's electricity system amid intense US lobbying efforts. US reimposed sanctions on Iran's oil industry in November, citing concerns about its nuclear program and its meddling in the Middle East. Here are the important questions that may be asked from this news. Daesh has won a multi-billion dollar contract to rebuild Iraq's electricity system. Which is the capital of Iraq? Want to know the answer? 
continue watching the video heading to our next question which country failed to complete 25 of the 27 requirements demanded by the financial action task force the correct answer is option d pakistan pakistan has failed to complete 25 of the 27 requirements demanded by the financial action task force international terror financing watchdog to curb terror funding FATF already warned Pakistan to take effective measures to combat money laundering and terrorist financing else the country will be placed on the grey list or downgrade it to a blacklist. Pakistan has been on FATF's grey list since 2018. In June 2018, Pakistan committed to work with the FATF to strengthen its anti-money laundering and combating terrorist financing regimes. Because of this failure, multilateral lenders like the IMF, the World Bank and the EU may continue downgrading Pakistan, making its financial situation, making its financial situation more precarious. FATF has also asked Pakistan to submit the details regarding the $7 million allocated to maintain schools, madrasas, madrasas clinics and ambulances originally operated by the terror group. FATF is an intergovernmental body which devises policy and sets standard to promote effective implementation of legal, regulatory and operational measures to combat money laundering. To combat money laundering, terror financing and other related threats to the integrity of the international financial system. The body has 38 member countries including the US, UK, India, Japan, China and France among others. Here are the important questions that may be asked from this news. When was Pakistan placed in grey list? How many member countries are there in Financial Action Task Force? Dash devices policy and sets standards to combat money laundering, terror financing. To know the answer, continue watching the video. Heading to our question number 9. When World Day to Combat Desertification and Drought Observed? The correct answer is Option B, June 17. World Day to Combat Desertification and Drought Day is observed every year on June 17. The theme for this year is Let's Grow the Future Together. The aim is to promote public awareness of international efforts to combat desertification. Land degradation neutrality is achieved through program solving, strong community involvement and cooperation at all levels. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres, land degradation and drought are major threat affecting millions of people worldwide, particularly women and children. Every year, the world losses 24 million tons of fertile soil and dry land degradation reduces national domestic product in developing countries by up to 8% annually. Protecting and restoring land and better using it can reduce forced migration, improve food security and spur economic growth. They can also help to address global climate emergency. To recognize the imperative of combating desertification as part of the efforts to achieve sustainable development goals, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change Prakash Javadekar attend an event in New Delhi. Now let me share a few more information about the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. It was formed in the year 1985. It is headquartered in New Delhi. The annual budget is 2675.42 crore. The minister responsible is Prakash Javadekar. Here are the important questions that may be asked from this topic. What is the theme of World Day to Combat Desertification and Drought Day 2019? When Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change formed? To know the answer, watch the full video. Heading to our last question, question number 10. Monkey bath is to resume on June 30. Who hosts the program? The correct answer is Option B. Prime Minister Monkey bath Indian radio program hosted by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in which he addressed the people of the nation in All India Radio, DD National and DD News. Monkey Bath is to resume on June 30. The program aims to deliver the Prime Minister voice to the general masses of India. It also aims to spread joy, positivity and celebrate the strength of 130 crore Indians. 
People can share their question on the NAMO app open forum. People can dial the toll free number to record the messages. This will be the first monkey bath episode after Modi assumed office for the second time. The first episode of the second season will be broadcasted on All India Radio on June 30. The final episode of the last season was aired on February 24 and the program was later discontinued during the Lok Sabha elections. It was originally released on 3rd October 2014. Here are the important questions that may be asked from this news. When was the Monkey Bath Indian radio program started? People can share the questions through Dash. To know the answer, continue watching the video. To conclude this session, here comes the question of the day. Who won Miss World 2017 title? Try to answer the question and drop your answer in the comment box. The answer for the question asked at the end of each topic are as below. Okay friends, that's for today. Thanks for watching our video. If you find the information provided useful, please do like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. Follow us regularly to stay updated on current affairs. Dear friends, are you looking for a job? End your search now. Visit FreshersLive.com, the next generation of placement network. Register yourself today and get placed in top companies. Until then, this is Freshest Life signing out from Current Affairs video. Take care.